fucking turd. <laughs> Going pro in 2024. <laughs> they knocked the crap out of it, too. Need board? Let's feed it to that one. Yeah, it? give it a little extra weight. Feed it to the 14 inches. Hey, he was up this dock. Alright guys, figured I'd give y'all a uh, little post-tournament update. Um, yesterday was an absolute grind. I mean, when I say it was a grind, it was a grind for everybody. Uh, the guys that won, Bobby, congratulations. Uh, they won with 16 pounds. But uh, yesterday, man, I mean, it was tough. We, uh, me and Tanner, we both struggled. Uh, we ended up catching three fish total. Um, I caught one on a Rapala DT6 back in a little pocket that pretty much everybody in the field uh, hit. And we was able to catch one out from behind a little dock on a uh, brown crawl uh, Rapala DT6. And then the other bait that I caught the other two fish on and one of them wasn't even a keeper. I'll roll in a little clip of him. I didn't run the camera that much yesterday. It was, uh, it was just a crappy day. It was off and on, spitting a little bit of rain. But uh, the other rod I was using in bait, this is the Elite Rods uh, Elite Black Series. And I was throwing a suspending rogue, rattling rogue, uh, in this table rock color which is a fantastic bait. And one thing that you gotta understand about rogues, most of them are not gonna suspend out of the box. Uh, pretty much all of them, you're gonna have to add a suspend dot or some wire or uh, another split ring to it to get them to suspend. But this one right here is what I caught the biggest fish of the day on and uh, a little dink. Uh, big fish was like 3.55 pounds is what we caught. Uh, just on this little suspending rogue, Abby Garcia, uh, Revo X, Elite Rods, 6.6 uh, six medium, jerkbait rod. And this rod, guys, is fantastic. Uh, this rod weighs 3.7 pounds naked. You know, no reel or line or bait. Uh, 3.7 pounds, or sorry, ounces. 3.7 ounces. Super, super light rod. But anyways, uh, with this jerk bait, I was having to let it sit for uh, five, 10 seconds in order to get bit on it. And I went through almost every jerk bait I've got. Uh, I mean, I changed jerk baits several times through some of the uh, uh, Lucky Craft Flash Pointer. This is a 100 series. Tried Mega Bass Vision 110 and uh, none of them were working for me. And finally, we got onto a dock uh, in the back of a little pocket where we had about 14 foot of water. And I was twitching this road down through there. And I looked down at my graph, and it just lit up with fish. And about that time, I was literally getting ready to turn around and tell Tanner that I was seeing a bunch of fish on the graph. When all of a sudden, I just pulled into one when I went to twitch uh, this jerk bait here. And uh, we just turned around give to give Tanner a shot at, at catching one of those fish while I was getting that one there off of the uh, off the bait and get him in the live well and uh, I ended up catching one little dink there towards the end of the dock it's just a really weird bite uh, it was sunny the two days previous to the tournament uh, wasn't warm but it wasn't cold and then the uh, tournament day it got nasty uh cloudy it was like 38 degrees for the high uh it was, it was pretty chilly uh it's just a bad day but we're gonna get out there and get them next time we got another uh, another event on that lake on the 25th of march so a couple more weeks and hopefully uh things will break loose by then but tight lines everybody we'll catch y'all next time